<clears throat> Hello. Today, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about a few things. And it's mostly about greed. And how certain companies can be greedy. Well, welcome to my channel, by the way. Um, so I noticed there's a practice that's been going on lately. That um, companies have been hiding game content behind paywalls. They want you to figure out ways... To make you pay more than you should they're tired of you know investing all this money and they want more money you know and earning sixty dollars a pop for the games that they you know sell or 70 whatever it is and um i wanted to go over i know why my sensitivity isn't i first off i used to be a big destiny fan and um i see that destiny 2 That's is perfect releasing a forsaken dlc that um you have to purchase all the previous dlcs to I, to even access to even play it so you need warmind you need um trials of osiris dlcs really bad dlcs you need to buy them before you play this 40 dollars dlc so you need to spend 30 dollars to purchase those previous dlcs so overall you're spending 70 more dollars besides the sixty dollars you paid for the base game. So year two, you're spending another seventy dollars. It's like a new game with less, you know, less content, less effort, and all the stuff that they are revamping, redoing, should have been included in the release of the game. So this update that they're doing for Forsaken, they're fixing all the fuck ups that they did with the first year of the game. So they think that they deserve seventy dollars because they fixed, they fixed it, but. Instead, they just want more money for less work. And I don't support that. Um, another one, another practice I didn't like was um, this year at E3, Black Ops 4 was announced. And um, they said that all the maps would be free. And that's true for Battlefield 5, but not for Black Ops. Um, they said they got rid of the season pass when they that's true that they, they did they renamed the season pass to the black ops pass so you get 12 multiplayer maps when you purchase the black ops pass you don't get it for just having black ops in general so these are companies again trying to get away with um, you know found me found me son of a making more money off of the consumer than for less work um and then the final one I wanted to kind of talk about is um, a game that I was supporting until I figured out. So I wanted to show you a picture of Rockstar Games before they created GTA 5 and making a lot of sales with their microtransactions. I'll, I'll put that picture up now. Um, you can look at it. But with their new, well, sequel to Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, they are doing certain additions three different editions of it and they are basically they're locking uh, multiplayer and single player aspects behind pre-orders so they want to show that the company that they're going to have good sales by doing this so they know that people have incentive to buy to show the actual sales of the game before it's sold um because they have to get this edition of the game to experience the full game and the more, most expensive edition of the game doesn't even have the game in it. It just has a bunch of fan stuff in it and not even the game. So I, I don't know. It's very confusing. And a lot of practices that I just don't think are good. And Oh, hello, Mr. Kennedy. That the more we voice our unhappiness and disinterest into these practices, the better for us, um, the consumer. I feel like when a company is so blatantly neglects the consumer the one that's keeping them afloat um it just shows that you're greedy in my eyes and you probably don't need what you have because you just your only goal is to get more and more and more um i think that's why games like fortnite Got are he. succeeding right now because it's it's a free to play game and people spend tons and tons of money on the cosmetics side of it and they do a good job fixing and updating and you know I think that's why people play it because there's no company comparatively that focuses 
on their game as much as Epic Games does and treats it like it's something important. So, you know, I think it, a lot of things have to do with why Destiny has become so bad. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, Activision isn't a great publisher, so any game that's touched by EA or Activision, you're 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 bound to be let down in one way or another. There's never going to be a perfect game from those publishers because they because they're so big. But you know, I feel like I'll probably switch to like a game like Metro over a game like Fallout because it's another company. The bigger a company gets, the less they care about the consumer. So that's just my little rant. And uh, have a good day. I just got a headshot right through the smoke. <laughs>